Zai here, FPS veteran. In this sensor debate, we're going to talk about something that comes up often when trying to find the right DPI, and that's window sensitivity. So it's not really a sensor debate exactly, but it's relevant. Anyway, like Counter-Strike, Quake uses raw input. That means it doesn't pay attention to window sensitivity at all. It's going straight to the mouse. So for this video, I've turned off raw input so we can look at window sensitivity, and I've adjusted the sensitivity in Quake to keep it even. Just so you know, regardless of the sensitivity I set in Quake, the effects are the same. What you're seeing now is Windows 1 out of 11. That's the lowest it can go. And yes, that is really jerky and bad. Now let's look at 11 out of 11, so the highest. Much smoother. The problem is that it has a massive deceleration at this level. So that's no good either. At 2 out of 11, it's a bit smoother and it seems to handle the flicks. At 3 out of 11, a bit smoother again, and it handles flicks too, no deceleration. At 4 out of 11, which is what I use, it seems smooth and handles flicks. At 5 out of 11, I can barely see a change, it looks smooth and still no deceleration. Same results again at 6 out of 11, they seem good. At 7 out of 11, I started to feel the deceleration a little and had to use high sensitivity to get the flicks right. Also of note, I was moving the mouse, but it wasn't actually moving the crosshair. So it starts to get some other issues too. I get bad deceleration at 8 out of 11. 9 out of 11 has bad tracking and bad deceleration. It's progressively getting worse. So the results? If you're going to play games that don't use raw input, then you should set your sensitivity in Windows at 4, 5, or 6 out of 11. 5 and 6 are probably the best, but I don't mind using 4. It seems fairly smooth with no deceleration. I know this is quite common knowledge, but I have been asked to test it, so here's the video for that. Hope it helps, subscribe for more mouse related and gaming videos, like this one and I'll catch you in the next.